I'm gonna show you guys a uh, kind of how the install did. If if you have a this is a '79 F250 install on Rough Country dual steering stabilizer kit. I don't remember the part number right off the right off hand, but uh, pretty easy install. Basically, right. Uh, let's get a little closer here. Underneath there, you can see there's a strap that went across that, and that's what um, the old stabilizer was on, and then it connected over here. Um, anyhow, this is basically for you know any Dana 44 um, or uh, GM 10 bolt. Basically, all I'm seeing on the install videos on YouTube is um, for Jeeps and stuff like that. But anyhow, real simple. Um, you center up your, your center bracket, get that on there, put your pins in here and here, and um, and then you, the kit recommended that you measure out four and a half inches, so from right in, right in there is the end of it, uh, four and a half inches, and then you just put those U-bolts right around there and you do it on both sides and tighten it all up make sure that um, it doesn't interfere with any of your steering or anything like that and that's pretty much the install uh, the kit says an hour to two hours to put this in um, I was able to do it in about 45 minutes I'm just laying here in the driveway not a, not a hard install at all um, it did improve a little bit on uh, especially if you hit a bump or something like that it it's done a good job um you know stabilizing the steering which is what it's for so so that's good um the kid also st stated that uh you know over here where i showed you that strap that um you know fire your truck up or whatever and take it to a shop and have them air chisel it out for you which may which may be pretty quick but um you know, I was able to use just a grinder with a cutoff wheel and uh, cut the two welds and it, it popped right off. Um, anyhow, you have to take it off or else it'll hit on on this bracket. If you don't take that off, it'll hit. So anyhow, that's a uh, rough country dual stabilizer for a 79 F250. And like I said, I think it's uh, for most uh, Dana 44s or uh, 10 bolt. GM. Hope this uh, helps anybody out that may be looking at one of these. Easy install and I think it looks pretty cool. So thanks for watching.